Welcome back to Wine and Wins. I'm your host, KP. Most of you know by now, I'm a marine biologist, and hopefully you've also caught on that I stream about three times a week over on Twitch. Oh, there he goes. Into the box. Oh. <laughs> Where some of my aquatic friends are currently breaking the internet. So I thought this would be the perfect time to start a new segment on this channel where we break down current events in the marine mammal and conservation world. We're of course calling it Currently. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and yeah, of course, here's the shameless plug to my Twitch channel. We talk a lot about animal content and look at exclusive animal footage. If you're not familiar with Twitch, it is traditionally a gaming platform for gamers to stream video games they're playing at the time. But some of the up and coming channels right now are people just hanging out in their living rooms, chilling in bathtubs, hot tubs, chilling in hot tubs. And recently Twitch made a category specifically for these types of streamers called pools, hot tubs, and beaches. And my real life friends over at the Marine Mammal Rescue Center stream decided to have some fun with this. They changed their category for their 24-7 sea otter stream from travel and outdoors over to pools, hot tubs, and beaches. This was not only hilarious, but also brilliant because their viewership skyrocketed. They've made headlines all over the internet, which in turn has further increased their viewership. They've even made some powerful friends along the way. Famous hot tub streamer, animal lover, and brilliant businesswoman Amaranth, for one, who recently raided the channel, bringing in some 15,000 of her viewers to introduce them to the sea otters. She's even currently a moderator on the Marine Mammal Rescue channel. Now there are many reasons why I think this is so incredible. First, as a Twitch streamer myself, I'm well aware of the limitations of the site and how growing on their site is very, very difficult. It often takes a level of creativity to stand out. And that's exactly what my friends at the MMRC have accomplished. The second and most important thing, I think, is the impact this is having on ocean conservation. There are really two parts to being a marine mammal trainer. The first is obviously the health and well-being of the animals under our care. But the second is outreach. Because the health and well-being of our ocean is largely dependent on human awareness of how their actions impact the ecosystem. As my hero Steve Irwin once said, because people want to save what they love. Now MMRC here in Vancouver isn't alone. There are similar facilities around the globe dedicated to rescuing, rehabilitating, and hopefully releasing sick and injured mammals. But another important role that these facilities play is education and outreach. Many facilities have had to close due to the COVID-19 pandemic or are reaching much smaller audiences than usual. That's why it's so wonderful to see this gap bridged by such an innovative avenue. Amazing, engaging, and inspiring people from all over the world, some of which may have never even known that sea otters existed. So that's why I think this viral sensation is so fantastic and noteworthy. Because of the simple change from travel and outdoors category to pools, hot tubs, and beaches, while absolutely hilarious, has broadened the audience for these amazing animals. 
<laughs> that was a twofer. People who would have never thought twice about sea otters are now actively searching and learning more about these amazing animals. Because the truth is, while wild sea otter populations are recovering, they are still endangered. They're facing many threats that I talk about in a recent video, you can find that link right up here. And the more people that are aware of these threats, the more that we can hope to help this species. And you can help me raise awareness by simply hitting that like and subscribe button, dropping a comment down below, and checking out the links in the descriptions below to my other platforms. And while you might not find me in a hot tub, you can always come over and ask about my friends in the cold tub. <laughs> <laughs>